everybody, this is your favorite French Canadian, Avro Kifrin. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS without uh, sacrificing too much your uh, graphic quality. Uh, first of all, I need to say something. We can't use the config file in this game. Uh, it's a w, uh, UWP and everything is locked by Microsoft. So it's pretty uh, sad because uh, this game I will show you the shadows uh, are taking a lot of FPS so if for example if you're using shadow and you're at high and you put it at low you will gain 20 to 25 FPS just for shadow it's crazy and that's why I wanted to use the game file the config file to remove the shadow from the game just to see um, how many like FPS that I can I get because this game is running on Unreal Engine 4 and uh, in my previous uh, video that I did for a game like The Calling or we happy few games that are running on the Unreal Engine 4. This game is very hungry on the FPS when you're using uh, Shadow. And Gears of War, it's crazy. You have a lot of objects like that, you like rendering crazy shadow everywhere, trees and stuff. So uh, look at your shadow before <laughs> before everything, and I will explain you more on each option that you need to change. So first of all, full screen, stay in full screen, scale resolution, depending on your computer and your graphic card, for sure if you have a, a small laptop, uh, go lower, go uh, 720p, um, it will be better for you guys. Frame limit, make sure that you're unlimited and vertical sync off. Uh, also, show stat FPS. So here at the bottom right of the, your game, you will see your FPS. Very important because when you do modification, you will see how many FPS you have right now. The goal here is to have minimum 60 and for sure if you have like some kind of some BenQ monitor at 144 Hz, uh, you want more than 60. First of all, texture. Here, uh, didn't see a big improvement, so each bracket you will gain 2 to 3 FPS, but it's it's good, you know? So if you have some like GTX 970, you can probably go at I and don't go ultra and you will gain a lot of FPS with that, but uh, you will see a, kind of a, a, a nice decrease on, with your graphic quality. Uh, a lot for the character texture detail. This one, I saw a big decrease in my graphics, so it's not that great. So uh, go ultra or high depending on your computer. And always guys, remember if you have like a, an integrate video cards, you will probably need to go at medium or low, okay? So, um, visual setting. This one is kind of weird because normally anti-aliasing uh, is very hungry for FPS. Uh, I didn't see a big increase b between like ultra high and medium. I saw like two FPS max for each bracket, so I was very surprised. Maybe it's uh, it's because of DirectX 12 and all those optimization that they can do uh, now. So anyway, uh, those one not crazy. So if you if you, the average of your game is at high, stay at high. If it's at medium, go medium. But uh, don't go low for nothing because you will not get a lot of FPS with those options. Uh, motion blur, I did medium because I don't like the effect. So it's depending on you. But you will maybe gain 1 FPS. So it's not something important. Now, lighting and shadow. This place is crazy. The first two one here. Each bracket you will gain 6 to 8 FPS depending on your video card. So this one is a big factor here. And lights, yes, it's a nice effect. But honestly, uh, when you will see the increase of performance that you can get. So if, for example, if you're running the game at 40 FPS, just change your light and your shadow and you will good to go. You will hit your 60 easily. So make sure that you're changing your light at medium do some tests you have a nice benchmark option now feature in the game so do some uh, test and you will see uh, if you're getting the 60 uh, as an average but the lighting here you need to change it for sure also shadow like i said in the, the the start of my video sorry for my english i'm french shadow with unreal engine 4 just put this at low if you have problem with your fps it will be crazy so don't touch anything first put your shadow at low look at you the game it's not that bad with shadow at low or worst case scenario put it at medium and you will see a big increase in your um, fps um capsule shadow this one doesn't change anything it's like one fps to two if you lower it but if you're for example here at low put this one at medium and uh if you're at medium here put this one at high okay so you will you 
it will uh, pr match, but it's like capture shadow quality is not something it's very important for your game. Ambient occlusive quality. This one, another one like shadow, and it's even worse. Uh, this one, it's seven to nine FPS for each bracket. So if, if you're low here, put low the air, and you will see a big increase. The problem with ambient occlusion quality uh, at low, I don't like the effect in this game. It's pretty much like H1Z1. It seems like all whitish and you don't have anything left. Um, so yeah, this one is a bit tricky. So if you are at low at shadow quality, maybe try medium and look at your FPS, depending on your video card, because I saw that on the old video card, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS, but if you have a new video card like mine, RX 480, and you just want to play with the higher resolution, those options doesn't change a lot of like your game. You will gain two to three FPS, but on uh, integrate card and very old card, you will see a nice improvement. So this one is very important. Advanced visual, all the post-processing quality are nice to have, but uh, it's not bad to have them at medium because you will not see a big difference with them. And even reflection, reflection is something like you see in the game, depending on uh, like this one, screen space reflection. Honestly, you can put it at low and you will not necessarily see the difference if you don't concentrate on reflection with the environment. So uh, this one, you can get a nice chunk, six to eight FPS. And I think it's a good one that you can change. For the rest of it, uh, stay like this. Depth of field, this one major for sure. <laughs> In any game, the depth of field is very important because if you want to see like very far with some kind of focus, uh, for sure if you have a bad video card, just put this one at low. It's not that bad, you will see a nice graphic in front of you, but if you look at like uh, far in the map or in the world, you will see it's kind of blurry, but honestly, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS. One more thing I need to add, this one. Uh, first of all, dynamic uh, resolution scanning. This this option is kind of good. They, they create that in Forza 3, uh, sorry, Forza Apex. Uh, it will adjust in real time your resolution to make sure that you're getting performance. So if you don't um, you don't know all the option and you're not, uh, I don't know, you, you're kind of a noob with all those settings, you can use this one and uh, this app feature and it's pretty nice. You will see that uh, uh, when your FPS go lower, they will change slowly the resolution scaling. Uh, they will go lower, so you will get more FPS, and after that, it's all in real time. It's kind of nice, and it's a really nice option, and it's working well. But if you have a good computer or a mid a medium computer, um, don't use this option. Just do your uh, setting by yourself. La one more thing, Async Compute, this one, if you have an AMD, uh, series 6000, 7000, R9, uh, 200, 300, 400. Put this at on, you will see a nice increase. Uh, and is really good with async compute. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA, uh, the 900 series and the new one, the 1000, are doing a proper result. Uh, but if you have a legacy card, uh, you will maybe have some problems. So maybe you should put this one at low, just do a test. Uh, I did a test with a 670 GTX and uh, add like more FPS with async compute at low. So this at off, sorry. So this one very important, do a test, it's pretty quick, it's on or off, so you don't have a lot of uh, uh, bracket to test. So that's about it guys. If you have any question, um, just comment in the YouTube section, post your rig, so CPU, GPU, RAM, and uh, I will answer you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.